Hi, everyone. About a minute on another example of the maturation of the nuclear energy sector here in the United States. This week, Dow, the old line chemical company based in Midland, Michigan, it's a century old, actually started in 1897, announced that its plans to put four nuclear reactors built by X Energy, designed by X Energy, um, at its plant in Sea Drift, Texas, which is a little, little ways northeast of uh, Corpus Christi. Why is this interesting? Well, one, I think it's the, clear that Dow, which is an old line chemical company, a conservative company, has picked X Energy, which is a cutting edge design for their nuclear reactor. It's high temperature gas. Um, so why does high temperature matter? Well, if you have higher temperature, you get better efficiency out of the reactor. reactor. Um, but also this, this technology that, ga- that X Energy is using uh, uses triso fuel, so it's walk away safe. This type of fuel doesn't can't melt down. So here is Dow, an old line chemical company, saying they're going to use nuclear power at one of their big chemical plants on the Texas Gulf Coast. At Sea Drift, they produce polyethylene and other petrochemicals. Um, and the fact that they've decided to do this, and it's not clear whether uh, these four reactors that Dow is planning to install there, each of which have 80 megawatts electric output, so 320 megawatts electric total, whether they're planning to sell any power into the ERCOT grid in Texas or whether the plant will use all of the power and the steam uh, from these reactors uh, for itself. That's one of the reasons why Dow is, is picking this design because of the availability of high, high temperature steam, which they need for their petrochemical production. Uh, a couple of other uh, or one other quick point. Uh, X Energy has been one of the big beneficiaries of the DOE funding. Uh, they got something like $1.2 billion, up to $1.2 billion under the advanced advanced reactor demonstration program. So um, just another example of how nuclear energy is gaining traction uh, here in the United States. um, And some of that traction is due, of course, to uh, government help. Uh, But the fact that Dow has announced this big project, and it is a big project, which they now are saying they still have to get um, design approval and construction permit from the NRC. Uh, but they're saying they could have it built by 2030, which um, sounds ambitious to me, but uh, uh, indicative, I think, of the uh, ongoing maturation of the nuclear market here in the United States. I'll stop there. Follow me on Substack, would you? RobertBryce.substack.com. Thanks. See you.